Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the official Samsung One UI. Now, some of you guys actually sent me messages requesting that I make this video using an S9 or an S9 Plus, so here it is. So here I have an S9 Plus, and of course, everything is the same as the, on the S9, and in this video, we're going to dive in, look at some of the new and top features of the official Samsung One UI for your smartphone. So let's dive right away. Now before we dive in, if you do own a smartphone, make sure to hit that subscribe button to subscribe to Saki Tech. And of course, make sure to click that notifications bell icon as well to make sure you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Now one thing that I want to really mention that I haven't really mentioned as much is the always on display on the One UI and the new updates that it received. So let me go to the settings really quickly. I want to show you what I'm talking about. So if you go to the display, and if you go into the always on display, which should be right here, I'm sorry, it's going to be in the lock screen. So if you go to the lock screen, and we go into the always on display, let's just turn that. Uh, one of the most amazing features is the display mode function right here. Now when you tap on display mode, you have three options. You can always show the always on display, which is what we have had so far in our Samsung smartphone. So there was no way to turn off the always on display unless you turn it off completely. And that makes you lose that functionality. And of course you can set a schedule time for it. But now this is the new option with the one UI that I'm really loving. And that's the tap to show option. So with this one, uh, when you turn off your phone, you're not going to see the always on display. But when you tap on the smartphone, it's going to show the always on display, as you can see, for 30 seconds. And that's going to make sure that the battery does not run out. All right. So that's one of the new options that I'm absolutely loving on the One UI. And one more concern that I received from some of you guys is if you go to the camera. So the camera has a new interface. Now you can swipe between different modes by left and right, just like that. It's almost just like an iPhone. And some people were saying that they were missing certain features. So to activate those missing features, you go to the settings, all right? And the first thing that you guys mentioned was that you're unable to pick the frames per second for the video resolution. Uh, let me show you how to get that done. When you go in here, the menu is a slightly modified. So what you wanna do is you can pick 16 by nine, uh, 18.5 by nine or one by one, okay? Now choose this option for maximum uh, flexibility. And then once you choose the option, you tap on this blue uh, section here, and that's actually gonna give you uh, the 4K with 60, the regular 4K with 30 frames per second, uh, the QHD full high definition, which is 1080p with 60, and then also full high definition with 1920 and 1080, all right? So these options are still here, uh, some people thought they were actually disappeared. They have not. So that's one thing. Uh, the other thing is uh, when you go down, uh, you want to go to the camera shooting modes. Actually, uh, let me see. Not this one, camera modes. And from here, when you tap on edit modes, from here you can remove or add the things that you want to see on the main screen right over here. So when I swipe over to video or photo, all these uh, were actually modified by going into the settings, going into the camera modes, tap on edit, and then pick the options that you do want to see down there. And if you go like this, you're going to see basically everything. Okay. If you want uh, access to everything available on the phone, this is what you want to do. Uh, one more thing that they modified was if I'm in the video, uh, I can tap on the top here to change the ratio of the recording. So if you want to record an Instagram video, you want to go by one by one. And if you want to record uh, the full uh, ratio, then you can go with that one, okay? But those are some of the settings, some of the concerns that you guys mentioned. Now let's move on to the next thing. The next thing that you wanted to see was the night mode on the S9. So let's do that right away. Now you can go to the settings, go to the display, uh, and enable night mode from here. But there's also another option. Uh, you can also go in, by the way, and do some other things with night mode. Uh, but if you do pull the control panel down, the night mode is in fact right over here, okay? So you can tap on night mode and boom, you get the night mode enabled right on over here. And then if you go to the settings, you've got the night mode everywhere. Even if you go to the multitasking pane, you've got the night mode. And of course, if you go into certain apps that are Samsung specific apps, they're all gonna be running the night mode. 
So that's the phone application right there, all right? And then this is gonna be the messages application. And if I go in here, you can also see the new icons, by the way. So for the calendar, we have a new icon, but it also has the night mode. Uh, for the clock, we have a you know new icon, and also we have the night mode. And again, all the Samsung Core applications are going to have the night mode. Uh, when you go to the Samsung folder, go to My Files, it's all going to be night mode. And let me go back to the uh, here, uh, turn this off real quick. Now, if I go back into those applications, you're not going to get the night mode. You're going to get the regular mode, okay? So that's how uh, they're different from each other. You get two instances of the same application in two different colors, which is absolutely fantastic. And, of course, the night mode, the whole point of night mode is it is going to save you some battery, but also it's going to be very easy on the eyes. The next thing, of course, is the multitasking right here. So let me show you what you can do with the multitasking. This is the new interface. Uh, but when you do go into the multitasking, on the top of each application, you do have a button you can press. So let me just find the calculator over here. Where is that at? Let's look for that. There we go. So if I tap this and go to the calculator, I can tap this button and then I get a couple options. First, I can do a pop-up view, which is this one right here. You can change the color. I mean, not the color, the opacity by using tapping on that button. And let me just bring that to maximum. Uh, what you can also do is you can uh, maximize this. Or if you want, let's go back into that mode. You can, in fact, minimize it, put it to the side, and tap on it just like that. All right? And the other thing you can do is if you want to do multi uh, split-screen multitasking, you can just tap on this. Uh, tap on split-screen view. Tap on this one. Boom, you've got multitasking, which is fantastic. All right? As you can see, swipe away to get rid of it. And that is the uh, new multitasking uh, pane and app switcher pane, all right? And of course, one of the biggest points of having the One UI is the one-handed mode. So anytime you go into the settings, for example, uh, everything is coming down towards you so you can interact with the phone with one thumb just like that. If I go to the settings, I can pull down again. And again, that's one-handed mode right over here. So you can easily access it using your thumb. Same with the phone, uh, everything is down here, as you can see. Same with the phone, everything is down here, as you can see, as is the keypad. Same with the messages, okay, conversations, contacts, new message, and all that good stuff. Uh, the old one-handed mode is still here. So if I go to the uh, advanced features, go into motion and gestures, tap on one-handed mode. This is the original one-handed mode that gives you maximum uh, one-handed usage. This is still going to be here for you in case you guys need it. So don't worry about that being uh, disappeared. Uh, but this is the regular bring it down to yourself one-handed mode uh, that the One UI brings to you as you can see on every different menu feature. And of course there's a couple other things. If you go to the settings over here, I'm going to show you that in the device care uh, you have a bunch of new options. The first one is if you go into the battery if you tap on this button and go into settings, you now have access to adaptive battery, which is an Android Pie feature. And on the back over here in device care, you can tap over here. By the way, you get these bubbles to give you notifications. X them out or take care of them by tapping on them. But if you tap this, you have access to auto optimization that runs, uh, runs once a day automatically instead of you having to come and tap over here. Okay, so you can set that to be automatic. Or you can go back here to auto restart and also have your phone restart one, two, three, or seven days a week at a given time for maximum performance. So these two are new performance features uh, under device care. All right, well, let's go back out. All right, the next thing I'm gonna be talking about is called the lockdown mode. It's a brand new mode. Uh, some of the S9s still don't have it. Uh, this one doesn't have it, so I'm going to use a Note 9 to show it to you guys. Uh, some of the S9s and the S9 Pluses do still have it with the new One UI official update if you have received it. So uh, I do want to demonstrate that it's a very nice feature. So let me just switch over to my Note 9 to uh, demonstrate that feature. It will be coming to all the S9s. Right now it's on some, but not on the others. And that's going to be the last thing I'll be talking about, the One UI, in this video. Uh, when you press and hold the button... Uh, it gives you the lockdown mode. I'm going to show you what that does. Let me show you how to enable it. 
So normally when you press and hold the power button, you get only three options, power, restart, emergency. Now you got the lockdown mode. So if I go into the settings, and if I go into the uh, lock screen over here, uh, oops, right here, I go into the uh, secure lock settings, and at the bottom you've got the show lockdown option. So when you lock your phone using this option, it disables everything, but only keeps the pin number enabled. So you cannot use your face ID, your fingerprints, you cannot see notifications on the lock screen, you cannot use smart lock and all that stuff to unlock your phone or look at your phone, you will see nothing and all you can use is uh, your pin number to unlock your smartphone. Let me show you what, what that means. So if I turn off the screen and turn it on, uh, I have the face ID and the uh, iris scanner that I can, uh, I can use. By the way, if you tap on the clock, it gives you a little clock icon, just so you know. Uh, but this is allowing me to use my face, my irises, my fingerprint to actually log into the phone. Let me just put my pin number in. But if I were to go into the uh, lockdown option and enable that, and if I turn off the, I mean, uh, press and hold the power button and tap on lockdown, it is going to lock my screen, but all the notifications are gone. Cannot use face ID. It's not even giving me the option. Cannot use fingerprint. All I can do is swipe up and put in my pin number. So that's what the lockdown mode is all about. Let me put my pin. So that's just a new option that I happen to like. All right, so thank you for watching this video, guys. Make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. And if you do have any questions, concerns, or comments, just drop them down below and we will try to answer them. For now, have a fantastic day.